Sir, how do you see the future of libraries and librarianship in our country? What are your opinions about the present status of librarian information science education and practice of librarianship in India? Yeah, it's, an, it's an interesting question, Salman, you have put to me. Let me first uh, mention, when we entered the profession, it was almost non-existent. One thing is very important that India, like other developing countries in this region, Asia, South Asia and so on, these are the countries with libraries but no concept of library service as such. It's only during the 20th century that certain elements of library services were introduced and some of the states like Baroda state and others they took initiative to develop some public library system in the country. But primarily, it is after independence when the government of India started a program of national development and national reconstruction that the development of library profession started taking place. And it is at that stage people like Dr. Ranganathan, they gave the impetus and that process continued. Today, when we look at the situation, we find that the country has made fairly good progress in the field of library science, librarianship and library service. I will not go into all the details, but to mention that today we have not only National Library Calcutta, but also we have National Medical Library, National Science Library. And to a great extent, the PUSA library can be called as National Agriculture Library. We have uh, ICSSR, we have CSIR with their laboratories, which have fairly good library systems. Also, when we look at the university system, it's interesting to mention that in 1947, there were only 18 universities in India and today the number of universities which include central universities, state universities, deemed universities and private universities, the number is almost 700. We have almost around 35,000 colleges and so far as schools are concerned, the number is large. It runs into lakhs and lakhs depending on the states and that is where the system has grown. When I look at the public library system, it's interesting to note that today we have 19 states which have public library law. In 1948, the first public library law was passed when Dr. Ranganathan took the initiative and the progress has been fairly good and we hope that it will continue to be so. Today we have uh, Library schools, the number is almost more than 200 and that is how the progress has been made. The country has had the assistance and also the guidance and the, we had certain committees and commissions appointed which gave reports. I mentioned only something like Library Advisory Committee report in 1957 and then also we have the national policy document on library and information science which was published sometime in 1989. I'm mentioning about this because I've been associated with some of them. And latest I will mention that sometime in 2007, the National Knowledge Commission also had appointed a library group and the report which has been published it was sometime in 19, two, 2007 which is a unique document and I must add that as one of the outcome of this National Knowledge Commission report was the appointment establishment of National Mission on Libraries 
which was started sometime in 2012. These progress items I am mentioning in order to indicate that the progress has been quite good, but certainly much needs to be done and it is in that context I mention that I look at uh, the profession in a manner that when we came there was hardly anything. When Dr. Ranganathan used to teach us about uh, the laws of library science and he will talk about national library and network of libraries and interconnectivity of library systems, it looks something like utopia, a dream. But now the situation has completely changed and I do hope that with the progress in the system, things will move fast and now today we talk of digital library system and also the interconnectivity. When I look at the library and information science education situation in the country, I feel that much needs to be done. I'm not lamenting about it, but I feel that the path of the roadmap of progress needs to be a little faster and we should move in the right direction. Here I would like to add that a few developments which have taken place, which have revolutionized the whole field of knowledge, where the whole idea of a library has undergone vast changes. It is not that library system was asking for it, but certain developments have taken place and that is the revolution in information communication system, which was the necessity of the human society. And I'm reminded of one doc statement, one lecture which I stu uh, studied, sometime in 1948, Arnold Toynbee, you know he was uh, a very prominent historian who wrote um, about the world, history of the world, he gave a lecture at London University, Senate Hall, and the topic was unification of the world. When he said that a day will come when certain developments in the art of communication and transportation will unify the whole world, and at that time the concept of global village was considered to be something imaginary, but it has become something like a reality. Here I must add that certain developments such as developments in computers, developments in telecommunication, developments in the storage media, and developments in photocopying, photo duplication, they have revolutionized the society in general and not they were asking that the librarians need it, but they were the requirements of the human society. It is in that context I feel very strongly that library professionals must make use of these developments. These are strengthening the hands of the library professionals. I still remember as a student at Columbia University when we used to go and, and discuss about computers. Computers were considered to be something like unique instruments. IBM was the only producer of computers. They were not available for sale. They were available only on contextual basis. But sometime in the 80s, Bill Gates revolutionized the whole world of internet connectivity and computers. And computer is considered to be something like an instrument, a typewriter available on your table and it has the interconnectivity and which has revolutionized the existence of man in human society. It is in that context I always insist that library professionals must make use of these developments and this is here. I want that in order to be a good library educational, a library professionals, I'll add four components which are important. Number one, knowledge. When Dr. Ranganathan introduced the concept of universe of knowledge at the master's degree program, it was considered something difficult to believe. But a librarian deals with knowledge. He is all the time concerned about knowledge. What is he talking about? 
he is talking about knowledge well uh, available today in the book form because gutenberg gave the concept of printing and the books became available and today these may be available in digital form we talk of virtual library we talk of digital library these are some of the developments which are taking place and these have to be understood properly and for that purpose a librarian is an academic and he must understand the concept of knowledge number 2 he must have a grasp of techniques to use a computer in those days when computers were not there even classification cataloging they are still there and also these are the important elements to become an efficient librarian and then tools computer is a tool it is something which like a force in the hands and not a master but a tool and the fourth component which i always feel mentioning and that is a library professional must understand the concept of communication and also good management i am sure that if these aspects are properly emphasized and they continue to be in the curriculum and teachers communicate with the students they teach and not just give lectures through the pt ptt or something which we call today in that context the discussion and the interaction it will also help us a great deal in maintaining the standard of the library education in the country and this is something which is very essential ranganathan gave us three words what why and how put a question seek for clarification and seek the way how to improve it and i am sure that if these components are properly understood we will be able to maintain the standard and bring the whole thing in proper context and that is something very essential before concluding on this i must add that please want to tell my younger generation and the people who are future librarians please do not look at a computer as a master but please look at a computer as a tool it is a force in the hands of a worker and if it is properly used and we maintain the standard of our knowledge and also understanding and interaction with the user we can still bring a great force in society and that is something which is very essential thank you thank you very much sir